Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to explain a 2007 romance and comedy movie named, Virgin Territory. Warning, spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts and we see a man who was painting in a church, he had been working in that church for several days, but he did not get money for many days for this work, so he goes to father asking for money, but then he learns that, the father has died due to the plague. He gets sad seeing all this because now he will never get his money. Then he sees father's dress lying there, and now he decides that he will now become father. Next, we see a boy named Lorenzo who is running away from a man named Gerbino. Lauren somehow escapes by running away from Gerbino, but Gerbino tells his men to capture Lorenzo. After this, Lorenzo goes to his friends and they suggest to leave this city, so that Gerbino can't find you. Lorenzo agrees to his friends and leaves on horseback. After this we see a princess named Pampinia, her parents have died during the plague, and she was sad because of this. Then there comes Gerbino. Pampinia had no one in this world anymore, so Gerbino tries to take advantage. He tells Pimpinia that what will you do now? Pampinia tells that, I have promised Prince Jarjski, that I will marry him. Then Gerbino tells him, that your father had borrowed a lot of money from me, now after his death I have the right over all his wealth. He tells, you only have this house and if you want to keep this house with you then you have to marry me. Next we see Lorenzo, followed by Gerbino's men, Lorenzo here meets a man who was carrying a dead body, he asks the man about that dead body, then the man tells him, that he was a dumb and deaf man, who used to work as a gardener in a nearby church, but today he died suddenly. Hearing this, Lorenzo thinks that if this man is dead, then there must be a need for another man, and he could stay in that church by becoming dumb and deaf. Lorenzo then climbs a tree to escape from Gerbino's men. When Gerbino's men leave, he begins to descend from the tree, but then the branch of the tree breaks, and Lorenzo falls to the ground, and that's where he gets unconscious. Now we see that some nun comes there, she picks up Lorenzo and takes him to the church. The nun was so lusty that she could not stop herself seeing Lorenzo and started touching him in a dirty way. Lorenzo was also conscious now, but he was pretending to be unconscious, because he liked it too. Then there comes the head of the nun, both these nuns tell her that this man is dumb and deaf. The senior nun gets very happy hearing this, because he only wanted a dumb deaf man, so that he could do church's work, and she hires Lorenzo. Lorenzo there pretends to be dumb and deaf. Once while Lorenzo was taking a bath, two nurses come to him and take off their clothes and take a bath with him, and Lorenzo also has a lot of fun with them. Actually the nuns used to hire the deaf and dumb, so that they could not tell anyone what he did to them. Now we see Pampinia, who comes to live in a church to get rid of Gerbino. This was the same church in which Lorenzo works. While two nuns are dressing Pampinia, she see Lauren there, she asks the nun, who the boy is, then the nun tells her, that he is Lorenzo and he is the gardener here and he looks after a church, but sadly he is dumb and deaf. Once, while Lorenzo was doing his work, a nun comes to him and they both go to the bushes to get intimate, but Pampinia sees them, and on seeing this, Pampinia feels very jealous, because she has now started liking Lorenzo. After this we see the king of Russia, Jerzyski, who comes to the palace of Pampinia, but Gerbino tells him that Pampinia is going to marry me now. Hearing this, Jerzyevsky leaves, but a man outside tells him that Pampinia has been waiting for him in another city for several days. Hearing this, Jerzyski leaves for another city. Next, we see Lorenzo, where two nuns come to meet him. Actually they knew what the rest of the nuns did to Lorenzo and they wanted to do the same thing with him, and Lauren agrees to it too, and gets intimate with him. Now slowly Pampinia also started liking Lorenzo, and started getting attracted towards him. One day, while working, Lorenzo was singing, and Pampinia notices him and learns that he is not deaf and dumb. One day, Pampinia goes to Lorenzo, and she blindfolds him. And after that she lifts her mask and says that, she loves him and she is ready to marry him. Here Pampinia kissed to Lorenzo, and after that she leaves from there. Now because of the blindfold, he could not recognize her. Now after a few days, it is time for Pampinia to leave, but before leaving, she tells Head, that Lorenzo isn't deaf and dumb, he is perfectly fine, he's just pretending. Actually Pampinia didn't want to see Lorenzo with anyone else. Head gets very angry hearing this, and she throws Lauren out of the church. When Pampinia was returning home, she finds Lorenzo outside, he says, take me with you too. As Pampinia already liked him, so she takes him with her. Next, we see Jarjeski, who was looking for Pampinia. He sees a girl in a lake and he starts talking to her. He asks the girl if you know Pampinia, because I am the Prince of Russia, and I'm going to marry Pampinia. On hearing this, the girl says that I am the Pampinia. Jarjeski also assumes that it is Pampinia as he had never seen Pampinia before. Here Pampinia reaches home with Lorenzo, and while talks, Lorenzo tells that he used to work in the church where he had fallen in love with a girl, he says that, the girl kissed him with a blindfold on him and said that she loves him. 
On hearing this, Pampinia understands that Lauren also loves her, then Pampinia asks Lauren how will you recognize that girl, then Lauren says that, I will recognize her anyhow. Now, here Pampinia was about to tell him that she was that girl, but suddenly, Gerbino arrives there. He is very angry on seeing Lorenzo, and he challenges him to fight, but Lorenzo is unable to stand in front of him. When Gerbino is about to kill Lorenzo, Pampinia stops him and tells him that if something happens to Lorenzo, she will never marry him. Hearing this, Gerbino does not kill Lorenzo, and locks him in prison. The next day, Pampania tells Gerbino that, she is going to marry him tomorrow, but he have to release Lorenzo. Gerbino agrees, and he leaves Lorenzo and sends two of his men to bring church father. When father comes, Pampania gives him money and tells him to cancel this marriage anyhow. Father says okay, he was the same man who used to do painting work in the church. On the other hand two of Gerbino's men were going to the forest with Lorenzo, but here their plan was to kill him. Before they can do anything, Lorenzo beats them, and he sees that Jurgenski is going to Pampinia, so he follows her too, where he sees that Gerbino is forcibly married to Pampinia. Just then Jurgeski also comes there, and he has a gun. Gerbino scared of gun and he runs away. Jurgeski kills everyone here, and eventually kills Gerbino as well. Pampinia tells Jurgeski that she cannot marry him, because she is in love with Lorenzo, and saying this she removes her mask, and when Jurgenski sees Pampinia's face, he says that you are not the Pampinia whom I'm going to marry. Then there comes the girl that Jurjuski met on the lake. Actually this girl was Pampinia's friend Melissa. Seeing Melissa, Jurjeski says that this is my Pampinia and I will marry her. At the end Pampinia goes to Lorenzo and she proposes to marry him, but Lorenzo tells her that I love someone else and I will marry her. Hearing this, Pampinia says okay, but you give me a kiss, then Lorenzo kiss her and understands that Pampinia is the girl who kissed her in the church. And with this, movie ends. I hope that you enjoy this video, if you want to make sure you never miss a new upload, be sure to subscribe to the channel Mr. Explainer, turn on notifications and click the bell icon, you'll get a notification, whenever I upload a new video like this.